Have you ever gotten frustrated because you can't find the perfect wallpaper or you download a whole package of wallpapers but there's just a bunch of crap in it or you just get tired of that rotation? Well, I have a project for you. Actually, I have two projects for you uh, as this will actually go to Reddit, download the top rated wallpapers to the subreddit of your choice. So if you only wanna see earth shots or the type of thing, you just put in that subreddit, which I'll jump to that here in a second. But let's get on the desktop and showcase what this project does as I will be going over Windows, Mac and Linux. So whatever operating system you're using, I got you covered. So here is a link, uh, christitis.com forward slash change dash wallpaper will get you to this uh, entire how-to guide. I like to put this out there so you can easily follow along or if you get lost, uh, you can easily come back here, figure out where you're at. So let's start with Windows, go to Mac and then do Linux, timestamp below. So pick the operating system that you want to do or if you wanna know how to do it in all three, here we go. So here is the first one, which is Ron's Reddit wallpaper changer on GitHub. This one is really well done. It's Windows only, but I was really impressed by this. So all you need to do, just go to this link from the website and you can just go to releases, download the latest release and install it. So that's it, just next, next finish on the installer and then launch into it. So if we come into here, we'll launch this. And as you see, it minimizes it down here, but let's go ahead and go into settings and you can see where it's pulling from. So right now it's only pulling from two subreddits, wallpapers and wallpaper.com. Uh, Grab top today, but you can switch this to random, top of the hour, top of the week, that type of thing. I don't typically recommend like top of this hour because it's just gonna be kind of a random one. I like top of today or top of this week if you want really like a high quality white wallpaper. Uh, and also depends on how much you want it to change. So all those things are great. I like to auto start, start and tray, suppress duplicates, and then also disable. I don't wanna be notified about it. If you want to save wallpapers and create like your own library, you can also come into here and say, hey, automatically save to here. So if there's a cool one you like, you'll have it uh, in the future. But just set this up, hit save, and you're pretty much done. Now you can, uh, block list, certain wallpapers and that type of thing. Or if you wanna come into here, uh, you can stretch this however you wanna do. But if you don't like this current wallpaper, you can also go change wallpaper and it'll go out, pick a new wallpaper and download it and put it on here. And there we go. So that's the, the new wallpaper. I really like this tool. It's very, very clean, um, but that's Windows. So just Click on that link, download, run, and you'll have a new wallpaper every single day or every hour if you want. Next up is gonna be Linux. Linux is a really interesting one as uh, it depends on what spin of Linux you're in. If you're Arch or Debian based or Fedora, uh, just install the dependencies. So if you need to install, let's say all of these dependencies as I'm using Linux Mint on this machine, you just copy this dependency, launch into your terminal, and then just paste it in, hit enter, type your password, and then it installs all the dependencies you need to launch. So with that done, um, we would just install the program. You can actually copy this entire script over and paste that in, and it'll set it all up. As far as usage, you can see on the background, if you look, you can kind of see my background. Let me close my terminal. This is just pulled from Reddit every day. Now I did a little bit something extra here as what you can do is you just launch into this and then just always do wallpaper Reddit. But since I'm using a tiling window manager, it doesn't automatically do it. Most people, I'd say probably 90% of you out there that are using Linux aren't using my type of setup. So just running wallpaper dash Reddit from the command line will be sufficient. So if you do wallpaper dash Reddit, this would go out and change the image or download a new image and, and grab it. So obviously I just booted this system up so it's uh, already current and it doesn't need to change. But to do this automatically on login, uh, what I like to do is just do, uh, go to your text editor, you can use Vim, you can use Nano, and then just type vim.profile. And then at the very bottom, you would just put uh, wallpaper-reddit. Now I created a custom script for mine since I'm using a tiling window manager, you don't necessarily need to do this. You could just put a wallpaper-reddit from the downloaded directory and off you go. 
But since we're on the subject of tiling window managers, I'll go ahead and showcase that uh, script. I'll just go ahead and cat it out here. And this is all it's doing. So it's just running the wallpaper Reddit command, which downloads the wallpaper. And then I'm using Fay to set my wallpaper. If you're using a stock setting, by all means, you don't need to do this, but this is just how I set my uh, tiling window manager up in Linux to auto set my wallpaper. And uh, if you don't have a tiling window manager, just run wallpaper dash Reddit and it'll take care of all the rest for you. And one more thing before we go on Linux, there is extra config options that you can set this to where it'll auto run certain things, much like the Windows counterpart. So if we go to our dot config from our home folder, go into here, and then if we open up wallpaper Reddit, you have all of your actual commands that you can easily go in here, change whatever you need. So if you have like say a 1440 screen, you come into mid width and you go 2560 by 1440, you'd set all that up to where it only grab your resolution of wallpaper. Really important, uh, very good to do. Uh, subs, I'm only pulling from wallpapers, but if I wanted to pull from like wallpaper.com, I could just add uh, wallpaper just like that and then just do wallpaper reddit again and it'd download a new file but for me i have that custom script so i'll just do wallpaper and there we go it switched it all out for me and we have a new a new new background always a usually high quality always really good i love this uh but i do have a list of subreddits that you can go to on the website as well so if you flip back over to it down at the bottom there's recommended wallpaper subreddits like Earthborn, Cityborn, Skyborn, all these, depending on your preference, look through these subreddits, figure out which ones you like the best, and then just add them directly into uh, that config file, whether it's Windows, Linux, and let's jump over to our Mac machine now and do the same thing over on Mac. All right, so we'll just go to change wallpaper on Mac OS, and we just need to grab these commands, put those in, so we'll just launch into our terminal and then paste that in. And with those pasted in, we can hit enter and then just simply type our password. It goes out, installs pip, enables Xcode. If you don't already have Xcode, you might need to do Xcode on its own separate line, but for the most part, you'll get all the dependencies you need automatically. Now there is one more package I had to do just for universal uh, compatibility. If you're on high Syria or earlier, you're not on the newest, latest, greatest Mojave or that, you do need to install Swift tools to use this next thing that I use to actually set the wallpaper universally in Mac. And that's just another GitHub project. So we'll go into releases, download the PKG file, and then just simply run and install it. It's just a little tiny command that now enables us to set Mac directly from command line, which makes it a little easier. So with the wallpaper script package installed, all our dependencies in Mac, we can now just install it much like we did on our Linux box. Same thing comes right over into Mac to where we can do that. Couple changes here is uh, the wallpaper Reddit, which I showed in Linux. You could easily go into here, run that command directly from command line, but obviously we want this automated. So we need to actually use Automator to do this in Mac. Uh, very easy to set up, so we'll just pull up Automator real fast. It'll pull up this screen at the very start. We'll just hit Done, and then just go File, New, and then we'll create Application, Choose, and then we're just going to run a script. So we'll just come down to Run, Shell Script, and then we just copy and paste uh, those lines directly from the website right here. We'll just copy that, and we'll paste that right into here. So uh, once those are pasted in, hit run, it'll go out, grab the file, and then set it using the desktop PR, that little utility we did. So with that done, we can actually save this file. The whole reason why we're doing this automation script is to save it. And we can just call this Reddit wallpaper, and then hit save, and our task is complete. And there's one last thing we need to do to do this on login. We'll pull up uh, system preferences here, go right into users and groups. I think on uh, Mojave and Catalina, the newer versions, I, I think they relocated that. So it's not users and groups anymore. I think it's uh, up higher, but come into login items, hit the plus sign, and then just find your script and application. So I think I named that one wallpaper Reddit. We'll hit add, 
and then that's it. So we're pretty much done with this. Uh, if you ever need to come back to that, obviously relaunch Automator, change the script around if you ever need. Uh, but with this, it should log in. So let's go ahead and reboot this machine and uh, log in and see what we get. And there we go. It just set our wallpaper. Uh, I would say, you know, sometimes it doesn't work initially when I run that script. Sometimes it does require that reboot. However, uh, you know, it's just how Mac set our wallpaper in newer versions and, and sometimes the older versions, it, it's a little finicky. So I usually just wait for a reboot to, to actually launch into it, but I'm gonna be updating this GitHub project in the future, maybe make a, a little more functional. And that's how I set my wallpaper automatically between all my systems. So uh, if I do want a rotating wallpaper, I love just pulling from Reddit. I think this just makes the most sense. But with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the description. Is there an easy tool, something I might have missed? Well, let me know. And with that, a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.